Let's make a gear. First sketch a circle onto the work plane. This is set in millimeters, but you can override by typing IN for inch after the number. Now draw the tooth. Use the polyline. Click on the circle first to make it part of that sketch, and then I am estimating the distances. Note the dashed inference line that appears when the endpoints are even, but you can also type exact distances. Now we need to array that tooth around the circle. So select it and click on Circular Pattern. For center point, click the circle. For sketch entities, select the tooth, and then drag however many teeth you want, or just type a number in the text field. Now click Extrude, select everything, and then extrude it up. To get the hole in the center, click on a primitive circle because it will snap to the center of the larger circle. You need to type the radius in millimeters because there's no override here. Then extrude it down. And there you have it.